today is Wednesday. I got back from the gym not too long ago. Um, I'm actually heading to the library because I find it easier to edit outside of the house. I don't know. It For whatever reason, I get so much done when I don't edit inside the house. I don't know what it is, but I've, I've heard like people say, don't work where you sleep, relax, eat, you know? Because then you're kind of in that, when you're in that environment, you feel very lazy. And it's true. And also sometimes the house isn't like super organized or like there's dishes that need to be done and like I get so overwhelmed and I end up not <laughs> doing my work and I end up cleaning because it's just driving me crazy so um we'll leave the mess for later let's go edit so yeah I'm just heading to the library I, yesterday I went to um a coffee shop but it was very loud and I, I mean I got some editing done because I have pretty good headphones and I was able to like block out some of the noise but I also get very distracted so if I see people wandering around if I can hear a little bit of noise I'm gonna like key into what's going on around me versus focusing on what I'm supposed to be focusing on so um yeah so the coffee shop had like of course, like the espresso, espresso machine is going. Um, a bunch of like teenagers came in to like chill and it's just like, ah, so much noise. The library is like so quiet. For the most part, it's pretty quiet. So I'm just gonna do that instead today. Um, I actually have two events that I'm supposed to go to. One, the first one is at five. It's a, I don't even know, it's some type of, I want to say like a workshop is what they said in the email um, and it's with the brand KISS. They sell like nail polish and I think like lipsticks and stuff. Um, so that one's going to be pretty cool. They told us to come with our nails bare. So my nails have been bare since October. Um, speaking of that, I haven't done my nails. I don't do my nails in the winter and the spring. I start up again in like for my birthday which is like June and then I stop like October um, just so that my nails can like breathe because after wearing fake nails or like nail polish for like a few months your nails feel so thin and like they're so weak and I don't like that feeling you know that feeling that you get if someone were to scratch like a chalkboard that's why I feel my nails are weak and thin like it makes my blood just ugh, it feels so disgusting so that's the reason why I don't do my nails um, during the colder months I would love to but I can't stand um, how they look how they look and how they feel after a few months of getting them done so when summertime rolls around again my nails are strong and they're ready to be painted so that's the first event with KISS. Um, some type of work, workshop, they said. Um, and then the second one is with Bondi Sands. I believe they are skincare, skincare body care company. Um, I believe it's a sit down. I believe it's a dinner. I have to check the email, but I don't know what I'm wearing to, to any of these things. Thankfully, they're right. They're back to back. Um, not like one stay, one's tomorrow. They're both today, so I'm just wearing one outfit. Um, I'm thinking to wear a blazer. I bought so many blazers, not even last summer, like two years ago, I never wore any of them. Terrible. No, yes, yes, yes. Never wore, never wore any of them, so I'm planning to wear, like I'm making sure I wear a blazer tonight. Like 100%, we are wearing a blazer. And this library seems like it's going to be very busy. Wow, okay. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I gotta find a parking spot. Hey guys, so I'm back from the library. I got a good bit done. Didn't finish my video. Yeah, about halfway. So I'm probably gonna go back again tomorrow. But I want to show you guys what I'm wearing tonight. Nothing like fancy. Uh, makeup is very simple as always. And then my outfit is from Shein. Um, so it's just this two piece. Um, set so you get like a long sleeve top. I kind of just tucked it into my bra just so that way it kind of gives an illusion that it kind of gives me a little bit of shape 
because if it's not tucked in i look really frumpy and like really wide so um yeah that's what it looks like it's quite long i'm gonna be wearing black booties but i'm going to be wearing a black trench coat as my jacket yeah i think that's it so very simple i also have it in like this brown color the camera's making it look a lot lighter but it's in this like chocolate brown that's it very simple and for the hair i decided to kind of create like a bun in the back instead of leaving my hair hanging down loosely so yeah that is the outfit very simple lightweight because i'm already like super hot and it's gonna be a i think it's a work class is what they said hey guys welcome back it is good friday so mari's home um he's out in the living room playing with jenga pieces i'll insert a quick clip um he doesn't quite get it how to keep it from falling like he doesn't realize that you can't take like two pieces well you can you have to pay attention because like if you take two pieces from a weak point it's gonna fall anyways whatever so he's doing that it's good friday and i wasn't sure if any restaurants would be open and i've been craving french toast for so long so i found a breakfast spot that is open and it's one of our favorites so i am going to oh he's hiding anyways i'm going to get amari dressed i'm already in like some clothes casey Hi everybody! I'm gonna get some clothes from Mari so we can head there now. I'm hoping that it's not too busy. It opened about an hour ago. Hopefully people don't know that it's open because I didn't think it was gonna be open. Most places, most places aren't open on holidays so I'm actually really surprised. But I'm happy that they are open. Mom! Mom! Yeah? There's this indoor playground in Pickering that um, my friend and I love taking Amari and her son to. Um, but I'm not too sure if they're open today so we'll see if we can do that we're trying to find something to do with these boys because they have so much energy and keeping them inside all day today is gonna drive both of us nuts so we most likely will meet up today and like if that playground isn't open mcdonald's is and they have indoor playgrounds amari's never been to the mcdonald's one so maybe we'll do that at least and then maybe i'll hang out here later anyways i'm gonna get amari dressed hey guys so it's about a week later um i went to two events that i was telling you guys about i was downtown um both events were really really good probably probably my favorite like both of them were really good so the first one i went to was a kiss event um and it was really nice it was at majesty's palace or something like that um I'll, I'll insert some clips but it was at like the spa like a really expensive like nail place that one of my friends told me about anyways so we went there um as soon as i got there i wanted something to drink um not liquor or anything because that makes me sleepy and bloated so i decided to get a latte with almond milk which was really good i needed some sugar though then um i saw that some girls were crowding around and like picking out some press-ons and i was like i definitely need to get over there so i did and i picked out a few and i was like how many can i take and they're like as many as you want so i, I took five <laughs> i mean there was about 10 different press-ons i took about five which i'll show you guys in a second i had them in a bag here and this bag is full of press-ons it's crazy um then we went to our seats no we didn't go to our seats just yet we were able to get like um some finger foods which was really nice they had a lot of food and then we went to our seats and we were given instructions on how to put on our press-ons and it sounds very simple but this one was a little bit different so it's not your typical press-ons where you put like the little sticky glue on your finger and then stick on your nail this one you actually have a you actually get a uv lamp so i don't think i have the uv lamp on me i think it's in the kitchen um but i'll show you guys what the kit looks like so this is the kit here um this is the back and then this is the front so you guys can see the uv lamp is right here um and this is the press-ons and then you get some glue which is right here so this is what i saw when i sat down at my seat um this is what was on the table and we had someone who was kind of walking us through how to put them on um and these are the exact nails that i put on my nails like this is the exact kit that i had that day um, I did have them on for about a week or so and then I kind of got tired of them 
Plus, it was my first time doing it and they were kind of falling off. I didn't do it very well. Um, so a few of them fell off. I put them back on. They fell off. I put them back on. And then I was just like, mm, they're a little bit too long. So I cut them at one point. And then eventually I was just like, ah, taking these off. So I did. And I'm back to just my short nails. Um, but it was super easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to do. And they look really good. Like you paid good money to put them on. So I got this. This is my second one. So I had one at the event and then in my little goodie bag at my seat. This was in my bag. So I got a second one. What else did I need to tell you guys? So now let me show you guys all the press-ons that I got that day. So I got another set of that same pink one that comes with the kit. So I have three of these. Well, I wore once and I have two more of the same set. These ones are quite long. I'll insert a clip of me wearing them. They're very long. So that's what they look like. They're like this soft pink color. And then I got these ones are like a floral one. Very, very pretty. I love these ones. I didn't realize that I had them in my bag already. So I had asked um, one of the girls like, hey, I didn't get um, the floral one or the flower one. Can I, can I please get one? So she did get me one and I actually had one in my bag already. Um, Cause I didn't pick up one. I didn't pick up one myself. And I didn't realize there was one in the bag. Anyways, then I also got this one. It's like a soft purple color. This one is also pretty long. Looks like that. Um, I got another one of the pink one. Like I said, they told us to just take as many as you want. So I just filled up my bag. Um, and then I got another flower one. I got a lot of the same ones over and over. Um, then I got like a short French tip one. This one, yeah, this one is a short one, letter S for short, which I'm excited about this one because the short front tip, French tip, um, is really popular right now. I got that and then I got like this blue one, which is a medium, uh, the soft blue one, if you guys can see that. And then I got this short white one, which is nice. Another one and then another flower one. Um, this one is a long French tip, as you guys can see. Um, and then I got this sparkly one, which is pretty. Can you see that? The sparkly one, which is the medium. No, nope, it's a short. And then, yeah, so that's it for press-ons. And then I got two of these glue-offs. Um, it's pretty much acetone, and it's in this really unique bottle. Pretty much, you kind of just lift your nail, your false, your fake nail up, and you squeeze the acetone underneath the nail and you kind of just let it sit for a little bit and it loosens up the glue and then you can kind of just pull it off really really easy and it comes with a um, nail file so you can kind of clean up your nails afterwards yeah that's pretty much it so those are the nails that I got I'll show you guys all the ones that were at the event this is what they look like I didn't get all of them I don't think I got this um, ombre one I got this one and then there was like this weirdish green yellow one I didn't touch that one and yeah I got everything else but that yellow limousine one so you guys can see that is the UV lamp very easy to do um, so pretty much you put your finger underneath the UV lamp and you keep it under there the darker ones for example this one this one, you want to keep it under the lamp for two minutes. Something that's lighter, like this, you want to keep it under for about a minute so that it's fully, so it fully dries and sets. And yeah, so that event was really, really nice. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. My back was hurting because like I was like bending over trying to like <laughs> fix my nails. But it was really good. I really enjoyed that event. Definitely one of my favorites. Now, after that event, I quickly made my way over to Bondi Boost's event. Um, it was their sixth birthday. Celebrated it here in Toronto. And I got a few goodies from that event as well. That event was great. I went in there not knowing a soul. I went, I showed up really late because I went to the Kiss event for like two hours and then I went over to Bondi Boost. Oh my goodness. I got to Bondi Boost maybe 7.30 and I didn't get home to like 11 30 at night it was it was very late usually events i don't last that long because i don't know anyone and sometimes they're not that fun 
but this one was really really good tons of food oh my goodness so much food so much food i didn't even take videos of everything we had like four appetizers four mains three desserts like it was just oh my god and a birthday cake it was crazy the amount of food there was i met three really great girls when i was there i like i went there not knowing anyone but i left with like mini friends um so it was nice so yeah so let me show you what i got from bondi boost so this is the little goodie bag from bondi boost what does it say oh it says hey babe hey babe hey babe so a nice little reusable bag so i got a nice little scalp massager you guys can see that it's very sparkly very pretty looks like that does it vibrate or anything no yeah well i want to put it on my head right now because i just finished setting my hair I actually have two events tonight, which I'll talk about in another vlog. Um, and then I got a heat protectant. Looks like that. I got a hair mask. Looks like that. I got a paddle brush. Very, very pretty and sparkly. And then finally, I got a pink salt scalp scrub which I'm curious about this one because I love using a scrub on my scalp. Let's see what it looks like. I've had, I've tried other ones in the past and they felt very sandy. They're a little bit too abrasive and I just didn't think they did a good job. And they also were very, 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 very oily. And like when it came time to rinse the scalp scrub out of my hair, it was very hard to rinse it out because it was so oily. It's like I drenched my scalp in oil and it was just so hard to remove. So I just never used it again. Uh, this one I can't open, but I want to see. Ooh, minty. It smells like, it smells like toothpaste. Like <laughs> it actually smells like Colgate, which I don't mind, but I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to be, I'm hoping it's not greasy. I feel like the person that was sitting beside me was like, this one isn't greasy. It's not like, you know, this other brands, which I believe is the same brand that I'm thinking of that was so greasy. Oh no, this is different. Anyways, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this. This one isn't as sandy as the other one. Not as abrasive as the other one I tried. I don't even remember the brand right now. It smells nice. I like it. Anyways, I will let you guys know. I'm definitely want to try. I definitely want to try this one out because I love. Oops, I love um, scalp scrubs. Um, I like to do. I like to scrub my scalp before shampooing. It's something that I always do. I have um, like this spray from Briogeo. Briogeo. Um, it's just a spray, but like after like maybe five or six uses, it's going to be done because it's just in a tiny spray bottle. And to do your entire scalp, you kind of need a good bit. So anyway, so that's the last thing I got from Bondi Boost. Really nice event. Um, I really enjoyed myself. And I'm excited for the two events I'm going to tonight. I'll just let you guys know where I'm going. I'm going downtown again. I'm going to a Vichy. Vichy? 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 <laughs> Anyways, Vichy. Um, it's a skincare brand. I'm going to that. I think I'm going there first, and then I'm going to go to the dinner with nat Natrium. It's a body care brand, I believe. I think, I believe they just launched here in Toronto, or here in Canada. So they're doing like a little launch party with some influencers. Um, I'm really excited for that one because that's a sit down, it's a dinner. And I've been hearing so much about this brand on TikTok, so I'm really curious to see what the hype is because everyone has been going crazy a body wash is like 40 bucks canadian like 34 um canadian um so yeah i'm excited i'm super excited to check that out and i will be taking you guys along with me so yeah that's pretty much it oh i do have a package here from Shea Moisture that i do want to unbox with you guys so i will do that so about the Kiss nails, I actually would recommend these and not because they gave them to me, but I actually do, I actually really enjoyed the nails and they look like I paid to get them done and they're really easy to do and I love the fact that you can reuse them. Um, well, if you take them off properly, you can reuse it because I've, a few of them have fallen off because I didn't know what I was doing the first time around. 
um, and I was able to pretty much clean off the nail and put them back on, um, which was very easy to do. So if anyone is interested in press-ons, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on getting them done at a salon, I would highly recommend getting this or trying out this line. It's the Salon Extend LED Soft Gel System. So if any of you guys are interested, definitely check them out. I don't know where it's available. But if I do find out where where it's located, I'll put it on the screen or down in the description bar. But yeah, that's that. All right, so now I'm moving on to this box. I believe it's from Shea Moisture because I've been seeing other influencers unboxing this same box. So let's find out together. And there's supposed to be a Shea Moisture event next week, which I'm really excited for. Because Shea Moisture events are usually really, really good. So I'm excited for that one. So I was right, it is Shea Moisture. So let's just move that. So this is what it looks like. All right, the lighting in here is not the best, but let's just go ahead and unravel this. Wait, do we open this thing? Okay, this way. Let's see what's inside. All right, so what's inside? Three different mousses. So we have the frizz-free mousse, we have a smooth and hold mousse, and then a hydrating wrap and set mousse. Ooh, you know what? This is good because I've been meaning to do some flexi rods. Yeah, this is good. Frizz-free curl mousse. I probably would use the wrap and set, of course. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's go inside and, ooh, what's this in the corner? Ooh, an instant film. Oh, okay. Wait, so that means I got a little camera. Okay, anyways, so let's keep going. So first we have their hydrate repair whipped curl cream. I've never used this. Manuka honey and yogurt. I need to smell this. I have a thing for smelling everything, so let's smell it. I like the color, like the soft baby blue color, but let's see how it smells. I feel like there's a wrapper on it. Shoot. Can't smell it, and I don't want to open it. Oh, this is so pretty. I did get a camera. Oh, this is so nice. So I got a camera, and I've been eyeing these since Christmas. That is, that's neat. I like that. All right, and then here's the mousse. This I can probably smell, let's see. Oh, it, sm it smells nice. Ooh, that smells nice, I like that. So we got that. And then, what is this? It's some type of mesh bag. Oh, okay, so a mesh bag. I don't, I don't know what's inside just yet, let's see. Ugh. What is inside here? Not sure. Oh, okay, it's instructions for the camera. I see, I see what they did there. Okay, and then it has like a strap for the camera and then some batteries. Oh, this is a, this is a really nice gift. I like that. That is nice. Okay, and then we have um, the coconut hibiscus frizz free curl mousse. I know what that smells like. And then we have the Manuka Honey um, Hydrating Wrap Set that I would use for a um, Flexi Rod Set. I'm sh pretty sure I know what this smells like because I, I, I've used their mask before. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. And then we have the Coconut Hibiscus Flaxseed Edge Gel. Never used this. So... There's that, and then I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. That was a really nice. Okay, so huge shout out to Shea Moisture for this lovely package. I definitely am going to be using that camera a lot um, this summer, so I'm excited for that. All right, so this is everything that I got, the gel, the mousses, curl cream, and then the beautiful camera that I'm really excited to try out this summer. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.